Hello, the Luck Mom family. Welcome to our live stream. In case you are new here, just feel most welcome. This is the right place to be. My name is the Luck Mom Deborah Nanchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia, and mostly I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. If you are getting me, let me know where you are getting me from. Where are you getting me from? Nikona Kesia Evelyn Kemunto Mayaka Na mstana muliona nikuwa ni mepost jana Alikuwa naishiwa damu Sasa imekuwa ni shida kubwa sana. Na nataka tumsaidia as the luck mom family. Tuwane vile anaiza kupata msaada. Where are you getting me from? Uu oh, mstiana alikuwa naishiwa damu. Amekuwa kiongezewa damu hospitali. But sasa ikafika bosu wake ya kasema kazi ati vitu zi, Yani kazi imeongezeka kwa nyumba vitu nguo nyingi ni chafu. Uh, saa kazi ni nyingi awawezi kufanya bosi wake akaenda hospitali akaambia daktari wa mtoa hizo mama nini wa mtoa kwa hiyo machine wa disconnect hizo nini sindano zake akarudi nyumbani wakamrudisha nyumbani akiwa kwa hali mbaya so huyu boss anamwambia <coughs> you have to iron these clothes yani hana nguvu kabisa kama muliona huyo mama sio mtu mwenye anaweza kusimama anaweza kufanya kazi immediately lakini inajua Mungu anaenda kutenda. Watu wa Malika Agency. Malika Agency mumeanza kwambia msichana apate usaidizi Facebook. Now that amewalelea kwa muda mrefu na mjamsaidia mumeona hii mambo imefika Facebook, mumeanza kumtishia ati atafute maisha atafute usaidizi Facebook na bosi wake amemwambia sio yeye wa kwanza kukufa. So, hakuna kitu tunachukulianga lightly. Hakuna kitu tunachukulianga lightly ati ni jokes. Masia ko from Kenya. Thank you. Kopa, hello, good evening. Faith Mora, I'm sending love from Lebanon. Thank you. The mom, dear Eunice Dialimo, uh, Pauline Siombu is from Saudi Arabia. Thank you. I want to share the link of this lady. Muone kama huyo ni mtu anaiza toka hapo, afanye kazi. So huyo mama meanza kumuambia, ati kwa nini waliaka namba yake Facebook, anataka kumuua. So, yani anaka, anampea tu pressure pressure, lakini anataka kumuambia mtu, ukiona mambo imefika kwa kwa mtanda uko kwa limelight hakuna kitu utakufanyikia na nimeambia ule msichana kwa strong so malika agency wamemwambia apewe usaidizi kutoka kwa mtandao of which anaenda kupata usaidizi kutoka kwa mtandao kama alikuwa na amewaliliwa msichana kwa muda mrefu sio mara moja amepelekwa hospitali amepelekwa ame, ame, hospitali more than once akipelekwa anaongezewa maji anaongezewa damu lakini sasa huyo mama alikaa kwa nyumba akasema Ati kazi imeongezeka hata ndio kwa hospitali ni kujifanya na jifanya. Nataka uangalie huyo msichana hapo uone kama huyo ni mtu wa kujifanya. So nataka tukianza kupigia huyo mwanamke ndio ajue kweli huyo mtu kumbe alikuwa na watu wake. Ilikuwa na mudharau tu. So anaanza kumforce anamwambia ati kuna wakati walimfanyia apati, ati saa apeane hiyo video ya apati ipostiwe ndio waonekane wako wazuri. We are not going to post video ya apati hapa. Tunataka msichana wetu akatiwe tiki tarudi nyumbani akuje kuponea huku. Atutaki stories za party. Party ya kazi gani kama mtu ni mgonjwa na unamlazimisha kufanya kazi? Pinti Wahari anasema good evening mamlaka I love you sana umenisaidia ku handle na mayaudi sana. Karibu sana mam. Meriana Maisha anasema watching from Damam thank you. Subira Valet anasema So I'm not in the Melazana na huyu boss. Mwenye anatishia huyu msichana mu. Kwa nini alienda akamtoa? Alienda akaambia wa, wa, wa madaktari ati wa disconnect hizo 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 pipes zenye alikuwa amewekewa hospitali ati anajifanya aenda afanye kazi. Si ni kujifanya anajifanya. Mtu anaweza jifanya kwa hiyo condition. Mtu mwenye anaongezewa damu anaweza kujifanya kwa hiyo condition. I just want to share the number ya huyo mwanamke tumutafute bado we are not giving up tuone ame release hiyo msichana amekuja nyumbani by the way ukikuwa mgonjwa kwa condition kama ile 
Hakuna mtu anakuhurumia wana unaanga sisi hatufai kugonjeka. Basi kugonjeka ni inakujanga tu sio mtu anapenda agonjeke. So Malika Agency msaidie msichana wenu mambo ya kumtuma kwa mtandao kuja kusaidiwa hapa amemumeletu kwa mtandao kwa sababu mumemlenga kwa muda mrefu. So msikuje hapa kututishia. Na nataka kuambia watu wa the like mom family what we are doing it's working out. If you are you've been following what we have been doing kutoka nyuma patience ndinda ule msichana alikuwa kwa machines leo anapanda ndege leo usiku kesho ataland Kenya. So Evelyn Pia through the like mom family Evelyn Pia atapanda ndege na atarudishwa nyumbani. Hatutaki kupembeleza watu kwa sababu mtu anakuwe, anakutia pressure. Nataka kushia namba ya mwanamke na ni na ni pina hapa Malika Agency kuna jamaa anaitwa Kevo hapo. Kevo, wacha mambo mengi usilete siasa. Usaidie huyo msichana. Usianze kusema nyimu nilishamuuza pesa amekuwa na shida sasa mtaki kumuona. Kuna watu walisema oh masi alituambia ayuko kwa hiyo ofisi. Unajua ukikuwa na shida obvious hakuna agent atakubali kwa kwa hiyo ofisi bado. Wewe ndio utaumia. So I want to share the number ya huyo boss wa hiyo nyumba. Apigiwe tumpigie hata kama ni watu kumi ata, ata go. Ndiyo ajue huyu msichana kumba na kuanga na watu wao. Yaani huyo msichana anamhurumia sana because hiyo condition yenye yako mambo ya kuongeza ongeza damu na unalazimishwa ati ametolewa nguo mingi after ametolewa hospitali jana ati anini hayo ni hizo nguo zote. Hiyo mwanamke namba yake ndiyo hii. 966 959 Hiyo boss nataka tumchanga mkie akona mchezo sana. Malika agency kuna watu wawili Malika agency ninaweka namba mbili ya ofisi na jamaa mwingine anaitwa Kevo mwenye amesimamia hapa anashinda akimwambia atafute usaidizi kwa mtandao. Mbona wa watu mangi kwa mtandao wakati wanawasafirisha? Ofisi yake ya Saudi Arabia inaitwa Kinani Agency. Ofisi yake ya Saudi Arabia inaitwa Kinani Agency na niko na namba mbili zao if you feel like unataka kujulisha ofisi jaribu ukisikia unataka kupigia madam mpigie madam asitucheze sio yeye wa kwanza hapa hivi tunamulika Kevo unaongelea ni wa makungu agency hapana. Mwenye naongelelea ni Kevo wa Malika agency. Ilikuwa anajaribu kutai papa hivi kuna watu wana disturb hii simu yangu paka inapotea. Kevo naongelelea ni wa Malika agency. Unajua atutanyamaza, unajua atutanyamaza tufurahishe watu. Juu yule msichana ile condition yako nayo ni mbaya sana if you have seen her, ako kwa condition mbaya sana. Alafu kitu yenye inaonekana mtu anasema anajifanya anaenda anaambia madaktari eti mtu anisha hizo pipes haenda nyumbani akafanya kazi. Haki watu wanapitia shida, watu wanapitia shida mpaka ukiambiwa unasikia tu kulia. Holly anasema hata ndio huwa anashindwa yake, yani ukishatoka Kenya ni exactly. Sakia is watching from Kenya, Beatrice ingeleta from Saudi, location anatoka aba. Thank you uh, Beatrice. Nataka nataka kupini hizi namba kwanza. 
kama unaweza kupigia kevo kevo ni wa malika agency malika agency ni ilipeleka huyu mwanadada na si ati mara ya kwanza amewalilia amewalilia siku mingi sasa ukiona by the way mtu amekuja ndivyo amekuja kuweka kitu kwa mtandao na nafuatilia na, na anga kwanza hiyo kitu ni ni real au umeongea na ofisi inasema nini ofisi wamelenga tu huyo msichana so jana vile jana nimepost wakaanza kumtafuta wakamwambia ebu tafuta ebu sipata msaidizi kutoka kwa nini kwa kwa, kwa media bosi wake akamwambia utakuwa wa kwanza kukufa mimi nitakumaliza nitakumaliza tu na hakuna kitu utafanya juu sasa ati mbona 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 umepeana namba yangu namba imepeanwa madam msichana wetu wasaidike because amekuwa kimufinyilia ukienda kuchukua mtu mgonjwa kwa ward useme ati mtuanishe hizo pipes ni mpeleke nyumbani kazi imekuwa mingi huyo ni mtu wako na akili ukienda condition hiyo msichana sasa mtu kama huyo sasa ukitoka baada hata kama hapa nyumbani ukienda kwa ward maybe yake hiyo drip ukikuja uko weak So yeye yeah, amekewa amekewa damu amekewa maji lakini yule boss akakuja akasema hapana mtu anisha hizo pipes. Aende nyumbani kazi imekuwa mingi. Watu wangu kazi imekuwa mingi una unatolewa tu kwa hospital bed upelekwe unakapata manguo hivi. So kutoka usiku ni kama jana ni kama anamtishia tishia tu ni vita. Anamwambia utapasi hizi nguo zote amemtoa nguo zote kwa maclosete amemwekea anamwambia You have to iron all the clothes. Alafu ndio sasa sisi tunyamaze. So, anasema oh, ambia huyo msichana atoe nini? Atoe 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 video. Mimi nitoe video. Mimi nitoe video ya nini? Nifurahishe mwarabu. Nimfurahisha mumalize. So anamwambia tulikufanyia party siku nyingine mbona hukuweka? Mbona hukuweka hiyo? Si umtumia hiyo video ya party pia aweke. Nani alimwambia na market watu wenye wanafanyia watu party? Sio yeye wa kwanza amefanywa party. Grace alifanywa wangu wa party in the Tuesday, Wednesday akapatikana deportation akiwa na nguo za theater. So, hizo ma parties sisi hatu hapana tambua parties za warabu. So, huyu sahii amegonjeka ni mgonjwa, hajielewi. Okay, ofisi unaona walikuwa na comment hapa jana, "Oh, we are, we are doing a follow up." Then wanaenda kwa inbox ya ule msana wanamwambia ambia hiyo media ikusaidie Malika Agency. Huyo jamaa anaitwa Kevo. Kevo wewe hujaenda Saudi Arabia kufanya kazi ya umid. So uwezi jua kenye watu wanapitia. Mtu akikuja hapa akiniambia jua na jua hiyo ni kitu itawekwa kwa mtandao. Si mtu hawezi kuja tu kama mjinga anza kusema niko hivi na hivi. Mimi huwa na na evidence naambia mtu uko na evidence. Do you have evidence? Unapata mtu akona evidence. Watu wana Watu unaenda unaacho hapo hospitali watu wanakupiga picha kama uko na simu yako. Watu wanaambia tu uku, kama uko na picha na unajua. Watu ya saying ni ukweli. Nipatie hiyo picha nione. Nikiangalia nasikia tu natoka na, na machozi. So agency si lazima wawajibike. Lazima wawajibike. Hata kwa tunanyamazia tunakanyagia. As much as ndio watu wengine wanapata pesa, kuna wengine pia wanakuwa disadvantaged. So Naomba tu the lucky mom family tujaribu kupiga. Sara anasema chamge mom. May God give you strength for the work you have done to our sisters. Amen. Thank you for your prayers. Tunaomba tu tuone tusaidie huyu mwanadada atakuja. What you did to patients mkafanyia lide nyongesa ndio tutafanyia evening pia arudi nyumbani. Tutakubali. If you happen to talk to that lady, mwambie release that Kenyan maid to go home. Yusa anamwambia ni nyumbani unataka kwenda. Sasa mtu kama kwa hiyo condition sasa atakaa hapo amfurahishe. Tamfurahisha aje. Nanambia mtu ukiwa mgonjwa usiogope. Usiogope. Kuna mwingine alipigwa akazirai paka akajikojolea akajipupulia tu hapo hivyo. Alikuja kuamka the following day kama kuna pupu na mkojo inanuka akanyanganywa kila kitu akaambiwa ukiongea tusikie maneno umeongea mahali popote tutakumaliza wewe ulishamalizwa ni second chance umepewa ujiongee so anasema kama boss amenikataza watanifanyia nini a uh a -uh, wacha amekukataza nini we speak up usinyamaze unasema ati amekataa ati asisikie hiyo maneno mahali popote then it means unadanganya Watu usingoje mtu akupiga mpaka uzirai alafu uamuke tena uendelee kupembelezana na yeye atio boss alisema oh 
Aku, ma, maisha yako hivyo kwa mikono ya boss. Watu wache uoga. Uoga itakumaliza. Uoga itakumaliza kabla we mwenye uja kufa. Watu wache kuogopa. Kama mbaya mbaya. Kama mbaya mbaya. Sasa mtu kama uyu mustiana kama uyu. Matuwa agent do this. This okay please to know what I mean that the Asante sana Enos. I'm seeing somebody anataka kutuma request. Let me try. Ukiona umetuma request na ukisikia hakuna sauti, usitoke nitatengeneza. Babara Samu anasema kifo watu ujinga ule mtoko kwa mtandao. Shukrani. Unakuna na watu wenu utakuwa mwa huyu la kumamu ni kuhamesha utajutia kibuli chenyu maisha yote. Exactly. Let me add Enos. Nasikia Enos. Enos antaka kuongea. Enos, ukisikia kuna sauti, usitoke. Boss Bori, anasema la kumamu, we love you. Barikiwe for you. Na kuna mtu wanaingia hapa wakatar. Sunataka kusikia nasema nini. Oh my god. So if kama umepigia pigia mtu ya yote, iwe ni huyo kivu. Iwe ni huyo malika agency la lazima nitawamulika mpaka huyo msichana akuje nyumbani. We are not going to keep quiet. Tuache tu mkisema mnashughulika, then mkishasema tu hapa kwa comment section mnaenda mnaanza kuangaisha huyo msichana, boss ndio huyo anamwangaisha on the other side. Hapana. Huyo mada mwatu atu nini? Atu pembelezani na yeye. Ni kuachilia msichana na story ishi. Story zingina ta kusikia. Msichana wetu wanamufanyia kazi. Wame mtesa hizo siku zote, hame nyamaza. Sasa hii uwoga, huyo mama na mpea pressure. Oo, nani ya liwambia mweka namba yangu? Mzana ya wambia mimi ni familia yangu, wame nitafuta juu ni mini mgonjo. So, unawana sikia tu wafisi, instead wakoparetu, wakopale wanaanza kumuambia. Tafuta usaidizi kwa mtandao. Nani mtu wamewalilia kwa mda mrefu. I make sense. I make sense. We have to help our sister akuje nyumbani. She's on contract. Yeah, ako kwa contract. Ako kwa contract, ako kwa bosi wake. Unajua yu bosi alikuwa napia. Unajua yu walenda waka mwache hospitali. So yu condition yake ilikuwa ambaya. Lakini yalikuwa napiga simu wakuwa naenda kumuona. Nasema tu kazi mekua mingi nyumbani. Akuje. Lakini akambiwa kuja wane vila kuspitali. Yaka pata bada wako connected kwa hizo mapipes za hospitali. Yaka sema hivu disconnect. Mrutishe nyumbani kazi imekua mingi ya luta weza. Luta weza? Why is she right now? Please we can help. Ako kwa nyumba ya boss. Nime piana namba ya boss. Ako kwa hiyo kwa nyumba ya boss. Ako kwa nyumba ya boss. Ako hapo place night wa type. So nime nimepeana information yote wale wenye amjaona huyo msichana by the way i have already shared the link huyo msichana ni mgonjwa so huyo mama anamwambia amemtolea dimanguo mlima kwa close unajua wakiwa na hasira wanakupanish njia yoyote so amechukua manguo mingi sasa na imagine huyo msichana vile ako na hiyo kizunguzungu analazimishwa apige nguo pasi ule mama anampea pressure Anamuambia tafuta hile video yenye tulukufanyia pati uposti. Ndiyo itutole haibu. Haibu gani na mstiana nateseka and then wanamulazimisha apie nguo pasi nyumba mzima na ni mugonjwa. Na malika eji kensi wamenyamanza tu wanamuambia watafuta usaidizi kwa mtandao. Uyo mstiana ni mugonjwa. The lady is very sick. So watuta kwa tunanyamaza nyamanza hivi tunataka kufraisha eji ntumu nyatai kushugulikia watu wake. Inaumiza. It hurts. It hurts. Najua watu waliona kuna watu walikuwa nasema ni jirani yangu, ni sister yangu. Kwa comment section, paka na shindo sasa. Na wakiona mtu wawa, wakiwa kwa hiyo condition wanafanya nipuri. Unajua sometimes ni vizuri, tujaribu kumulika what is in the dark. Tusifraisha watu wengine. As much as wengine wanafaidika. Kuna wengine wanateseka. We have to show the darker side kabisa yenye uwezi yona maripopote kwa sababu watu wakubaliwi. Uye mama, ukiona amejam. If someone calls the number who picks the call, 
madam madam ndiye anachukua huyo madam ndiye anachukua namba madam ndiye anachukua hiyo namba msaidia kwa area gani si kusikia hapo ako taif ako taif huyo madam ndiye anachukua hiyo namba anakutusi anakwambia you mind your own business but our sister is our own business yeye yeah, atashughulikia api yeye ungoo pasi but sasa pia sisi hiyo ni business yetu ku, 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 kuhakikisha msichana wetu wako sawa si anamtekia advantage so unajua tena watu wengine ni wapole huyu msichana wakati alikuwa ananieleza tangu kitama sema huyu nimekatazwa kila kitu na kuja tu strong tea na malenge amekatazwa mafuta amekatazwa chumvi amekatazwa sukari so nilikuwa naona bila ananieleza nikadhani tu ni mtu ako tu na hiyo nguvu sasa amekatazwa kila kitu na ile strong ya nakunywa tu na malenge hakuna kitu kingine anakula so, so ndio huyo mtu hapo kwa condition mbaya ameacha hospitali then boss anamwendea anakuja kumpea pressure kwa nyumba ofisi wanasema ako hospitali sasa ako hospitali gani mimi na nyinyi nani anajua kwa wapi nikijaribu kuambia msichana ametolewa hospitali nikupinga wanapinga because they, do, they don't do a follow up una unafuata msichana wako unajua kwa wapi sio mambo na kusumbua sumbua hapo ukiambiwa mkiambiwa mna jam sasa nyinyi sisi hatutanyamaza because lazima tufuatilie huyu mtu tujue so kama mtu ananipea story yake ananiambia situation yake then it means that i trust anajua tu like mama maybe nikikwambia wewe uambie wataamini sasa nyinyi mi, kwani mmeniajiri niwe ninawaleta information kama we ni agent unafanya follow up msichana wako ni mgonjwa hata wakati aliwatumia hiyo picha akiwa mgonjwa amunge guzwa amunge guzwa mseme mfuatilie mjua kwa wapi So sasa hizi mkishaona imekuwa serious mnaanza sasa kutana kumpea pressure instead hata mumpatie hopes tunashughulika we are working on it sinyinyi muko tu na ma pressure kazi ya jamaa anaitwa Kevo atafanyia ma pressure zenu kazi we want that lady to be rescued from that house huyo ni binadamu huyo mwanamke anasema au utakuwa wa kwanza kukufa kila mtu atakufa lakini hapana we have to say no to premature death period Hakuna mtu anakumaliza kabla siku yako ijafika kila mtu Mungu alimpangia siku yake ikifika ni sawa basi sio mtu alazimishie siku yako ifike so unajua sasa huyu msichana amekuwa akiwaopa muda mrefu sasa wanaweza mwambia anything juu anajua she would do nothing so yeye bila alikuwa amerudishwa rudisha hospitali akitolewa hospitali anakuja anafanya kazi mingi akishiwa damu anarudishwa anaenda kuongozwa Diana James is watching from Taifa. Guys, I'm just requesting if you can make a call to Malika agency you can do. Kenani agency leo ilikuwa ni weekend but nadhani walishafungua ofisi saa 9. Try to make a call. Let's try to help this girl. Huyu msichana ni mgonjwa. Tusinyamaze, tusinyamaze. Na kuna watu wanaonanga kwa comment section mtu anasema nani alikutuma? Hakuna mtu alimtuma, shida zake zilimtuma. Unaona? Watu hawatoshanishi awa, awa, kila mtu anakuanga na ile reason ambayo imempeleka Saudi Arabia kufanya kazi. Basa mtu akiwa na bahati mbaya kuna watu wengine naona ni kiubadu warriors every time wako hapa hivi. Unasema nani alikutuma Saudi? Nani alikufanyia nini? Unajua sasa utamuuliza hivyo wakati mtu akona shida ile unamjaja ama unafaa muombe. unaona kama uwezi uwezi saidia mtu ah ina haja uko you start commenting negatively wacha tu Mungu atende mambo yake kama wewe utaweza wewe wachana kuna mtu ana, kuna destiny helper kuna destiny helper wao wanakuanga hapa mtu anasema hapana nimeguzwa i need to help this lady so mwingine anasema nani alikutuma ukienda ulituambia kwani lazima angesimama kutafute pia wewe walijuaje utakuja kuona amepostiwa ndio akwambie inaenda tusikwe na hiyo roho by the way ningekuwa hata mimi na hiyo roho ni mtu anataniambia tu shida nianze kumwambia nani alikutuma sijui nani alikuwa i've been there every time when i'm trying to talk about people wenye wanapitia shida na ba hicho kiatu kinanifinya kilishanifinya niko na vidonda sijapona so nikiongelelea mtu mwenye hawezi ongea by herself i know what i'm talking about watu wanapitia 
Eno sana sema our agents need to style up please. Eko laki mao Mungu akubariki kwa kazi nzuri unafanyia Mulat Enos Doa Qatar. Asante. Tujikaze tusaidie watu wetu hata kama utasave one life. Even if you, you, you hata kama hauna 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 credit ya kupiga but uko na bundles kidogo you can share. Ukishare next person utapata destiny help alikuwa kwa hiyo place yenye una share. Unaona? Gracious name anasema hello like mom watching from Tawa Nairobi ndo naingia huko naendaje? Tunajaribu ku rescue msichana anaitwa Evelyn Kimto mwenye alikuwa mgonjwa. Alikuwa anaongezewa damu na maji. Sasa vile uh, alikuwa hospitali sana boss wake akasema kazi imekuwa mingi. Akaenda akamtoa hata kabla hajamaliza dose. Unaona? Akaambia daktari wa disconnect hizo pipes arudi nyumbani afanye kazi at kazi imekuwa mingi. So ndio nimekuja hapa yani kashia namba ya huyo boss sasa hiyo boss vile aliona nimepost hiyo msichana jana akasema kwa nini una post wakati u, u, uko mgonjwa mbona usiposti ile pati tulikufanya so analazimisha huyo msichana anitumie ya pati ikave hii 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 ugonjwa yenye wana wana, wana mistreat hata kama ni mgonjwa so sasa hii walimtoa kwa ward jana akatolewa nguo kwa closet mingi vile waliona nimepost alafu wakaanza kumwambia pige pasi hata huyo mama anamwambia mimi nitakuwa na hakuna kitu utafanya lakini nitamwambia kuna kitu tutafanya. Let her try. So, nimekuja hapa hivi kwa sababu nataka tusaidie mwanadada. Tujaribu kupigia huyo madam wake tumwambie achilie huyo msichana. Huyo msichana muachilie arudi nyumbani. So that is why I'm here. I think Nema nimekuambia sasa. So tuko hapa kwa ajili ya msichana anaitwa Evelyn Kemton nilikuwa nimemweka jana na nimeweka linki yake hapa for those who have not seen her she's here ako mgonjwa sana so nashangaa mtu anakutoa hospitali hata kabla hujamaliza dose anasema kazi inakungoja kwa nyumba mm-hmm. so people should learn watu wetu wanafaa ku learn what is going on so usifikirie ati ukikuwa mgonjwa hata uweke kwa ward utapembelezwa hakuna mtu atakupembeleza utafanya kazi Irene yanduka nasema hello great dear great job my sister happy for you thanks again thank you Bareng kukoaje Irene. So Mildred anyanda nasema laki mama Mungu akulinde kwa kazi unayofanya. Amen. So guys I'm just requesting if possible kama utapigia kievo kievo kuna mwenye nilimandika kievo ni I think ni mtu wa mkono wa Malika agency. So yeye ndio anapewa hiyo msichana pressure kwa inbox. Ambie hiyo social media ikusaidie. Sasa Mwarabu anakusinya. Mtu wako mwenye uliuzwa akakula pesa bado anakukataa sasa tunaanza kungangana tunangangana tu kwa giza but lakini najua Mungu atajibu maombi ama ama agent wanakuwa wakali sikia mtu anasema i come with you my lawyer mimi nimeshtakiwa mara mingi sana na hao ama agents This year offices ni me visit mingi mara mingi lakini i will not give up because i know what people go through agent ana jam kwa sababu yeye hajawahi fika pale akafanya kazi yeye hajafanya ajaenda huko akuwe mgonjwa atolewa ward afanye kazi so wako wame jam tu wanaona tu unatuharibia biashara biashara nini na maisha ya watu wengine iko hatarini kama unataka kuchunga biashara yako upalilie biashara yako chunga wasana wako hakuna mtu sana nasema kwani kuna mtu anaweza kutaka kugonjeka hakuna mtu anataka kugonjeka au mabosses wanasema huyu ana pretend na ukiona mtu mwenye anambiwa ana pretend hata unasikia tu kulia unaweza lia hata kama ni damu mtu mwenye anambiwa anateswa mtu mwenye anambiwa anajifanya kwa hakuna kitu kibaya mtu akuje hapo hospitali hata kama ni kichwa inakuma na kuambia toka kwa laini. Wewe ni mtu ametolewa kwa hospital bed, tumemuona condition yake. Anakuja anasema mtoi hizo pipes, mu disconnect. Hakuna dozi zingine anaongezewa, kuna kazi kwa nyumba mingi. Hai. Alafu sasa na, na, ana jam. Nataka ndio nataka tumpigie simu mpaka aseme hapana. Haiwezekani. Wacha ni release huyo msichana. Hakuna kupembelezana na huyo mwanamke. We need to help our sister. Let me give you a chance to jaribu kwenye tunaweza tuokoe sister yetu tafadhali. 
So guys, thank you for watching. Oh my God. Try and say, my God bless you, mom. Pray that she'll get home safe. May God fight for those enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Kia faith, kirubu mumani. Thank you. Unajua tunafanyanga hivu watu wanaunu ni jokes, ni jokes, but it works. Kesho patients ya kifika Kenya hivi. Ule msiana mwenye alikuwa mekeo mwa machines kwa mapua. Nini? Tiketi yake ni ya leo. Anapandisho ndeo ya leo usiku. Akifika kesho, I will come to appreciate back to the like mom family. Tusinya maze, we have to help our sisters. Ena sana sama, please, namba ya uyo madam. Namba ya uyo madam nilikuwa ni meandika, lakini bado ni the reply kwa hii comment yako. Namba ya uyo madam iku positive 966. Wacha ni ni reply ya hapa. Uyo mada mwakona madharao lakini ya tuta kubali. Positive 9. Positive 966. 590. Lazima atatire umstana. 959. 959. Ndiyo uyo madam. Iyo ndiyo namba yake. Nime respond. Ndiyo ni make up. Azima kwa saidi uyo msichana. Tusi nyamaze. Let's help our sister. Wacha tuone tu. Mungu atatena na tusiogope. Hakuna kitu ya kuogopa. Kukufa ni mara moja. Lakini ya tuta kubali tuona hati mitu wanambiwa saa. Ataisha. So ni kama anataka apasi hizo mbo zote anguke mwenyewe lakini haiwezekani we have to say no to premature death period hakuna mtu alizaliwa afurahishe binadamu mwingine you are not born to suffer ndio mtu mwingine afurahie kwa sababu hakuna faida yote atapata huyo mam ashiki simu sireti ndiye anasema muandikie message atasoma hata Siposhika simu, atasoma message. Inataka hizi calls ziongezeke. Kwa sababu jana nilikuwa nime post na watu wakapiga hata kabla tujianza kufanya show. Lakini hiyo ni mzuri. Inaonyesha watu wakona utu ndani yao. Unapiga. Unapiga, unapiga, unapiga kiamua kuzima, anazima. Ampe pressure. Uyo mstiana akona simu yake badu. Wao ndi walikuwa memunulia wakasema watamunyanganya ni vile waliona tu ameingia kwa limelight. Wakamuachia wale mnyanganya nyanganya kidogo akamrudishia lakini nilimwambia asiogope hakuna kuogopa hakuna kitu hajakufa kama anatolewa kwa mapipes zinakuwa disconnected na hajamaliza dose hakuna hakuna kitu hawajamfanyia so na yeye hii ni mara yake ya kwanza kujaribu apate msaada so hakuna vile ataogopa nimemwambia asiogope na mtu yote asiogope no you are right no you are right usiogope hata siku moja see you in the next show